Boeing's commercial aviation business may be under regulatory scrutiny, but that hasn't stopped the company from realizing its space dreams. Now it is all set to send the first Starliner space capsule with a crew of human beings into orbit next week. What is expected to give it a long-delayed chance to score a win against Elon Musk's SpaceX? The CSD-100 Starliner test mission will ferry two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. Let's tell you a bit about the astronauts. 58-year-old Sunita Williams is a former naval test pilot and has lodged 322 days in space since 2007. 61-year-old Butch Wilmore is a retired Navy captain with 178 days in space since his first mission in 2009. In recent years, NASA has backed a new generation of privately built spacecraft that can ferry its astronauts to the ISS. NASA is also backing private development of new space stations that could replace the ISS after its retirement. Starliner is the latest product of the agency's commercial leaning model. It is on a fixed price contract for development and scheduled to fly six NASA astronaut missions once certified as safe for flight. But Starliner has come to symbolize Boeing's space sector struggles. A 2019 attempt to send an uncrewed Starliner to the International Space Station for a week failed returning to Earth several days early because of dozens of software and engineering issues. The subsequent development wars have significantly boosted the project cost for Boeing and NASA. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.